Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today I am giving to you a video of things that I got from the store the other day. So I went to Target this weekend to get a few groceries and they only had a couple of things that I needed. But while I was there, I went ahead and looked around for some things and found a few um, few cute little items that they have in their Target dollar spot. I don't, I don't remember what you call it. Um, bullseye playground or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, they had a lot of cute stuff. I didn't want to buy a whole lot because a lot of the stuff is not really things that I would use but I did try to get a little sample of a few things from each um, kind of category, but they had a lot of uh, picnic kind of items, uh, camping sort of items. They had fun little kid activity things like, you know, taking your kids out and letting them go on like a bug hunt or a plant hunt, things like that. Just a lot of cute little things that, you know, kids would benefit from or kids would have fun with. But anyway, uh, I digress. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little root update. Hopefully, hopefully you can't tell too bad. I don't know. Anyway, it's the quarantine hair. What are you gonna do, right? So anyway, let me get into the video of the things that I found at Walmart. So before I show you the things from the Target dollar spot, I think I've decided that I'm going to do away with my plastic storage containers. And they had these really cute uh, glass Pyrex storage containers. And this is, I'm trying to see what size, two cups. So this is a two cups, each of these are a two cup storage container. Now for two of these, it was $10. So, I mean, it's not really cheap to buy glass storage, but it does hold up a lot better. So I feel like it's probably worth it, but I wanna, I wanna kinda go into um, glass storage instead of plastic storage. So I thought these were cute. Now they, this one says yummy. I don't know if you can really see it. And this one is kind of like a coral and blue, and this is more of a white and teal color, turquoise color. And they had actually other words, but I like this one. And they did have other sizes too. But I figured, you know what, if I get one pack every time I go to the store, then it won't seem like it costs as much. I don't know. It's a little mind trick I play with myself. But anyway, so I got these and I thought these were really cute. So I can't wait to start using those, but I'm not gonna start using them quite yet. So in another video, I showed you how to make hand sanitizer using 90% uh, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and some aloe vera gel. And I bought these cute little containers from Dollar Tree a while back. They're actually for like condiments, whether it's salad dressing or ketchup, but you get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And that's what I put the hand gel in. But at Target, I found these and these are really cute. They actually had one more color that was kind of similar to this color, maybe a little bit lighter, but I just got these two since I already had these from Dollar Tree. So th this is the same concept, but it's Target's version. And I thought they were really pretty colors. I liked the navy and they were only a dollar each. So same price as Dollar Tree. And actually, I think I might actually like these a little bit better because the hole in the top is not quite as large as the one from Dollar Tree. 
see? So this, you have to be really careful. Um, and something I have noticed is the alcohol, like the liquid part of the alcohol kind of evaporates. It still smells really strong of alcohol. So I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it, this is more like um, gel sanitizer now rather than liquidy. So at first, this was really like, you had to be very careful not to pour the whole bottle in your hand. So I actually like these better because the hole isn't quite as big and they were a dollar. So, um, but these are great for picnics. If you're going on a picnic, put your ketchup, your mustard, your salad dressing, whatever. Um, another cute thing that honestly, you don't even have to use it for, um, just like picnics, but this was really cute. This was one of those um, kind of, I guess, picnic-y camping kind of things, but it is actually a collapsible straw. What is it called? Let me see. I can't read it. Oh, portable straw. So this straw is a silicone straw and it folds up like this and goes in this container and you have the top and you just twist it to close it. And it has a little handle on it. You can attach it to, I don't know, your keychain or whatever. And you always have you a silicone straw. So if you're super, super environmentally conscious, this might be something that you would be interested in. And it was a dollar. So that's actually not bad. I mean, this is a pretty nice little storage container. So for a dollar, it's not bad. Now this was something I thought was so cute. I probably won't ever use it, but I mean, it was just too cute. I had to get it. So it is portable utensils and it comes with a cute, cute little zipper pouch, but it has your knife. And they're all, I think it, it kind of looks bamboo. Let's see, does it say? I don't know, it might say it on the back, but again, I don't have my glasses on. But you get a knife, a fork, you get a spoon, which that's a pretty good size spoon. You get, oh, you get a straw. Wait, you know what, I'm just gonna open it because it's so cute, I can't wait to dig into it. I've been forcing myself not to dig into this bag of stuff that I wanted to show you today because they got some really cute stuff. So anyway, it's this cute little bag that has the zipper, okay? And then you get a knife, a fork. I don't know, I actually may use these just because they're so cute. A spoon, so cute. Then here you get a straw. Can you see it? It's like a bamboo straw and chopsticks. How cute. And a straw brush. What? Isn't that cute? This is so cute. I just want to use it just because of the cuteness factor. And it was um, $3. That's actually not bad. They had other um, colors. I wanna say they had like a turquoise color and maybe a gray. I may, next time I have to go to Target, I may get me a couple more because these are just too cute. So, I love those. Pointless thing that you just have to have, right? Okay, so something else, if you're super environmentally conscious, which, I mean, I'm not really, like, I don't, you know, I'm not a super environmentally conscious person, person, so don't hate me, but it's just a fact of the matter, but some of the stuff they have is super cute. So they have these, and I've been seeing these a lot more lately. These are storage bags, okay? Can you see that? And they were $3, and you get two of them. And these are little snack size bags, 
but they're really cute. I'm not even sure really how they work. So I guess you just slide, yeah, you just slide that off and you open it. Okay, there we go. You open it up and you put your little snacks in and then you can write on it like with a, um, like a dry erase marker and then you can put it in the dishwasher when you're done, let it dry and it's reusable. So no more plastic, right? I'm getting there folks. But anyway, they come with two. And like I said, they do have a bigger size, but the bigger size, like the quart size, I think you only get one. So with the snack size, you got two. And they were $3. So I thought those were really cute. I guess I'll use them. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't pack lunches and stuff, but if you pack lunches, this is this might be something that you wanna invest in. But I just thought they were cute. Okay, so they also had um, like lunch bags that were really cute. Kind of almost similar to these prints and they were cloth um, lunch bags. They had bento boxes. I don't know if you're into, into bento boxes, but they did have those, those were cute. I just would never use them, so I didn't get them, but they were very cute. So they had, in order for you to pack your kids lunch for when y'all go to lunch in your backyard, six feet apart, you take your lunch bag out there and you pop these out of the freezer. They are non-toxic, um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Don't use it in a microwave or oven, duh. For freezer use only, I guess you can, I mean, you can put it in the refrigerator and just make it cool if you're not gonna be long. But anyway, so this one says just chilling and it was a dollar. This one says nom, 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 nom. And it was a dollar and it's gray. And then this one's cute. It says stay cool. And it's non-toxic little cooling packs. So you just pop them in the freezer. They don't take up very much room. You put them in your little uh, lunch bag with your bento box that I don't have and go out to your backyard and have your picnic with your kids. My boys won't do it because they're 23 and 21, so they're too old for that kind of stuff, but I don't know, whatever. So a few other things that they had were these, I, I love these succulent things. Now, I will say, um, I think they're going a little bit crazy with the price on these. I mean, you can get something pretty close to this at Dollar Tree nowadays. Like Dollar Tree's kind of stepping it up. So they need to be careful. Target needs to be careful, but these were $3. And, but they're cute. And they had navy, they had a lot of like, you know, my beach house, you know, back to the beach, let's go fishing, all that kind of stuff. And they had it in the colors, like the navy, the turquoise, the gray, uh, in all those colors. but with anchors and um, dolphin shaped stuff. They had a lot of cute stuff, but I just didn't want to buy it all. But anyway, they had this succulent in the navy with the anchors. <clears throat> they had this one, which I thought was really pretty with the navy stripe. And then this one, I've not seen any of these before. So this one I think was worth the $3 probably but it ha actually has little rocks in it. I've never seen it with little rocks in it before with this pretty little um, succulent. I guess this is a succulent, right? So anyway, I thought these were really cute and they were $3 each. And I know I've showed them to you before, but they're great for just little nook spaces where you just need something just little with a little pop of color. This is great, great for your coffee bar. Uh, great for little tear trays. I have a tear tray in my kitchen that has a couple of these in it. Not these, but one similar. 
Now, they also had these three jars, okay? They had this white one that's like a cloudy white in this shape. They had a gray in this shape, and it's like a gray, very pale gray, kind of milky look. And then the pink, I like the pink one. And these were actually a dollar each, which is a great price. So these are a dollar. Now you can use these just to set them around like this, or you can, I got this from Walmart a while back. You can, um, I'll just bend this like this real quick. You can just stick it in one of these and look how cute. This was a dollar, this was a dollar. This was $2 and look how cute that was and how simple it was and how quick. I may actually put that somewhere in my house right now. This is perfect for spring. So anyway, um, those were the three, I mean, this to me is, I would pay $3 for these. So dollar is a great price. So I was happy to get those. And you can put them together in a group or singly, whatever. Now, I did go buy Big Lots <clears throat> to see if they had what I was looking for, which they didn't. But I did, I always go to the clearance aisle. Whatever store I go to, I always go to the clearance aisle. So I did go and they had these cute, these are a good size. Um, you could probably, this not tall enough for like spaghetti pasta, but maybe a lasagna pasta you could put in here or beans or rice, but it's a pretty gold metal around the um, lid. Let me show you. You just lift it up like this. You know, it's like one of those canning, not canning jars, but you know what I mean. So I got three of these and they were on clearance for $2.70. And they had a shorter one that was $2.10, but I went ahead and just got three of the taller ones just because you can store more in it. But I thought this was a great deal for $2.70. So um, that is all that I bought. I say all that I bought, it was quite a lot. But um, I hope you enjoyed all of this. Now, again, let me say, I say this in all my videos lately, this is in no way me trying to tell you, you need to go to Target or Big Lots and buy any of this stuff. The only reason I got it was because I was there because I had to try to find something that I needed that I didn't find. So don't endanger yourself or don't, you know, go do anything you're not supposed to be doing. So that's my disclaimer. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If this is your first time to stop by, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click that subscribe button. I would love to have you come visit me every week when I upload a video. Don't forget to click the bell button so you will be notified every time I upload a new video, which is about one a week. Um, so anyway, make sure you click the like button. That really, really does help me a lot. And comment below what your favorite thing was that I showed you today. And before we leave, I promised you last week that we would start um, checking my quarantine hair. We all have, well, I say we all do. Those of us who are older, we all are starting to show our roots. So I figured, you know what? Why not let you see my roots as they're growing out? So let's have an update. All right, so I don't have any of the um, tinted dry shampoo because I wanted to, it's really kind of hard to see, but you see my gray? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh look at that. That's a lot of gray, going pretty gray. <sighs> I need my hair done. Please comment below and I'll see you next time.